hey, we're going to do some partial quotients today, okay? Now, first of all, if you're like, lady, that's the same problem. I know. I'm going to do it for you twice and do it slightly different. Same strategy to show you why partial quotients are so cool, okay? Now, if you're like a parent doing this and you have already done long division like your whole life and you're like, why do I need to learn a new way to help my kid with their math homework? I know that can be frustrating. All I ask is just give this way a chance because you might end up seeing like, oh, that's actually a really cool way. And I kind of wish I had learned it that way. Maybe not, but it's possible. So give it a chance. All right. Okay. So first of all, we are going to start and it's going to look like long division at first because it's really what we're doing just in a different way. Okay. So we're dividing nine into 7,317. Okay. Now you might see some ways have you draw a long line here and write the numbers over here. That's great. I personally like to write them on top, but you can do them either way. It's the same strategy, just writing them in a different place. Okay. So when we're doing this, the first thing we do is, okay, how many times does nine go into 7,317 approximately? Okay. So we're thinking in kind of general terms here. So I kind of think, okay, nine times a hundred is 900. So that's not near enough, right? Nine times a thousand is 9,000. So that's going to be too much, right? So I kind of want to hit in the middle somewhere. So I know that nine times 500 gives me 4,500, right? If you didn't know that off the top of your head, plug in a calculator. Um, nine times 500 gives me 4,500, right? So that's less than this. So I know nine goes into this at least 500 times, okay? So I'm gonna do 500, write it up here. And then this is like we're taking 500 groups of nine out of this big number. So 500 times nine gives me 4,500. And I'm gonna subtract that off and see what's left, okay? So when I subtract this, I gotta borrow here, da, 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 da. I get eight and two. Okay, so I am left with 2,817. Okay, so now I'm thinking, all right, how many times does nine go into 2,817? Okay, well, I know nine times 100 is 900. That's not quite enough. Nine times 200 gives me 1,800. So that's, I mean, not big enough, but it's bigger. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to do 200. Okay, and maybe you're starting to see the beauty of this, right? beauty. That's a really dramatic word, but I don't have to have these numbers. If someone else did different numbers, as long as it works, we don't have to have the exact same numbers. We'll get to the same answer. Okay. So 200 times nine gives me 1800. Okay. I'm subtracting that off and I'm left with 1017. Okay. That's when I'm like, okay, that's pretty close to 900. So I'm going to take off I'm a hundred groups of nine. So a hundred times nine gives me that 900 again and subtract. And I'm left with 117. Okay. Well, I know, let's see, nine times nine is 81. Nine times 10 is 90. Nine times 11 is 99. Nine times 12 is 108, right? So let's try that. That's pretty darn close. So 12 times nine, is 108 subtract there <clears throat> when I subtract that I get nine. Oh my gosh how many times does nine go into nine? Oh it goes once one times nine is nine subtract I get zero okay now all you have to do is add up all these numbers up here okay or along the side if you did it that way okay so when I add all those up I get 813 Okay, I might still have some skeptics. That's okay. That's allowed. But think of a kid who's just learning how to do this. And if this is, this could be a lot easier for someone just learning it to do it, right? At this moment, you might be like, oh, it takes longer. But I'm just saying, you know, give it a chance. If you don't like it, I won't be offended. Just, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. And I'm going to show you that we could do different numbers up top here, okay? So maybe when you looked at this, you realized, oh, nine times um, 700 gives me 6,300. 
right? Which is pretty close. Or even uh, nine times 800 would give me 7,200, right? So let's try that. So I'm like, okay, nine times 800 gives me 7,200, right? When I subtract that, I get 117. Oh my gosh. Okay, then I see nine goes into 117. Because I did it over here, I know that nine times 12 was 108. Nine times 13 gives me that 117, okay? And look at that, done. And then I just add those up and get the 813, okay? So what's cool about this is you can have different numbers as long as they all add up, right? If I hadn't realized that that was 13, I could have 10 and three or 12 and one, okay? Anyways, hope this makes sense. I will um, link some other examples if you need them and good luck.